so today I'm going to show you how to health check a rabbit. You can use the same sort of um, process on any animal really, it works for them all. But today we're going to use Martha, one of our rabbits here on the farm. She's um, roughly six or seven years old now so she's getting on a bit. So we're going to give her a really good health check, we're going to check her over, make sure that there's nothing wrong with her in terms of any sores, lumps, bumps, anything that shouldn't be there. And then we are going to prepare her for grooming. So before you groom an animal, you should always health check them, make sure there's no injuries. So first of all, you always start at the head. So the first thing that I'm going to do is look at her nose. So her nose is right here. Um, she has an old injury to her nose, so this was done quite a long time ago. It's all healed, it's not sore or anything like that. You need to actually look in the nostrils and you need to make sure that there's no bubbles coming out of the nostrils. You need to make sure there's no green pus and make sure there's nothing stuck up the nostrils and they're nice and clear, which her nostrils are. The next thing that you want to do is have a quick look around the mouth. Now sometimes at home you might find it really difficult to look in your animal's mouth. Um, as long as you can look around the outside and around the edge, then that's great. So with the mouth itself, you can see here, you can see actually see her teeth and they're perfect. So you want to make sure that your rabbit's teeth aren't overgrowing. So you can see those teeth there, they're perfect in length. If they overgrow, they can grow into the gums. Either the bottom ones can grow up to the top or well, the top ones can grow down to the bottom and she won't be able to eat and that'll make her very poorly. You want to make sure that her mouth isn't sore, um, it isn't too white in colour, okay, it just needs to be a light pink. Uh, make sure there's no sores or blood or anything red coming out of there. So that's the nose and the mouth. So the next thing we're going to check is the eyes. So once again, you want to make sure the eyes are nice and clear. <laughs> <laughs> make sure the eyes are nice and clear make sure there's no discharge coming out of the eyes no pus or anything like that make sure there's nothing sticking in them with rabbits and guinea pigs quite a lot of time they can get straw or hay stuck in their eyes um, so there's a little bit of discharge in this one it's a little bit weepy so we can just give that one a bit of a clean but it's nothing too major nothing to be concerned about so next once we check the eyes we are going to check the ears so you want to have a look in both the ears, actually make sure you check both of them, not just one. And you're going to look to see if you see any black spots or anything like that. If you see black spots it might be something called ear mites, which rabbits are quite prone to. You also want to check that there's no injuries on the ear. And the last thing that you want to do with the ear, smell, um, sounds a bit gross, but you're going to smell them. You don't need to get too close, just like that, okay? And if there was an infection, you would smell them quite easily. Um, so you don't need to put your nose right in there, don't do that, I wouldn't recommend it. So that's the ear, so I'm just going to check this ear as well. So yeah, they all look absolutely fine. So now we've done all the head area, we're going to move on to the body. So the first thing that we're going to do is just fill her whole body. We're going to fill all the way through like this, oh she likes that. And we're feeling for any lump bumps or anything that feels abnormal, anything that's sticking out, any um, also knots in her fur, we don't want to see any mats or knots or anything like that which will help us when we come to grooming. So you fill her all over and she seems to feel okay to me, nice and chunky, not too skinny. So when you're feeling as well you're going to feel for weight, so you should just about be able to feel their ribs, which I can just about be able to feel their spine. You shouldn't be able to feel them too much and also if you can't feel them at all the rabbit's overweight as well which is quite common in rabbits. So next we're going to have a look at the skin. So you part the fur and what you're going to do is you're going to do this in a few different places down her body and what I'm looking for now is any signs of parasites. The parasites are little bugs that you see on the skin that we don't want to be there and I can't see any parasites, I can't see any dirt um, and you also want to look at the skin, make sure there's no sores on her skin and make sure she hasn't got dry skin either and I can't see any of that on her so she's looking quite good at the moment. Right next we're going to look at her limbs, so she's got four feet so we need to check all four, there's no good in just checking one. So first of all you're going to fill them, so I'm just having a feel of her front ones, make sure they're not hot Make sure there's nothing sticking out where there shouldn't be sticking out. Is there any fur loss which could indicate some sores? So I'm just checking all that, they all seem to be fine. Also, are they whimpering or trying to move when you're doing it? If, if so, that might mean that they're in pain. So next you're going to have a little look at the claws. 
So her claws, some of them are a bit long, some of them aren't too bad. We'll give them a bit of a trim later. I know, good girl. And then her back feet as well. Let's have a quick look at those. So her back claws are really long, so they need a bit of trim. Martha and Isaac, they have a bit of strange claws. They kind of curl around a little bit. Um, so they, it's quite difficult to cut those too short, but you can just take a little bit off the ends. So the last thing we're going to check, let's check our last foot. Okay, we're going to check a bottom. Sounds a bit funny, but it's really important that we always check our animals' bottoms. Um, if they've got poo on them, flies could come and uh, lay eggs, and then those maggots will eat your animal, and that's called fly strike. This is something that can happen a lot in the summer, so it's really, really important that you are checking your animal's bottom for any faeces um, or any other issues. So how we do that is we get a hand, we're gonna hold our hand like this. This is gonna go under her armpit, these other three are going to go on under her arm, but this side, and these come up underneath her chest, just underneath her head there, like this. That's it. So I've got three fingers around there. I've got one finger under there, and one this side. And then you get this hand, you turn it this way, you sit it underneath the bottom, and you lift her back. If she's comfortable and confident in you, she shouldn't move, and she's not moving at all. So she's got a little bit of hay there. There we go. Apart from that, it looks nice and clean. It's not swollen. There's no blood. There's nothing coming out of it that shouldn't be coming out of it. We can see there that her feet are fine, but she definitely needs her claws clipping, so we'll do those for her. And that is the end of your basic health check. So you could do that even on your pet chicken. Obviously, chicken's got feathers, but it's generally the same throughout any animal. If you've got a little hamster at the home, you can do the same thing. And you should be doing that at least once a month. Um, and it just means that if you find something wrong with them, you can get them to the vet straight away. And I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful.